Hello and welcome to the HiDoc channel. So as I was recently looking at the options here that we have in, in Word, I came across all these cloud fonts here in the in the font drop down. So don't be confused by the German UI. This all works with the uh, with uh, other language UIs as well. And you have all these cloud icons here. These fonts come with Office 365, but when you install Office, they are not going to be installed on your computer. So if you want to if you want to use them for offline use, you have to go through them one by one and download them one by one by clicking on these um, on these cloud icons here. And I was thinking, wouldn't be wouldn't it be great if you could download them all in one go? And guess what? There's no option to do that. So I developed a macro to do just that, and um, let me let me show you how to how to do that macro. And you go to search and you you start typing macro in your own language. So in German, that's just macro. And here you have you have the macros. And you create a macro in the recent in, in the actual document here in the open document you, you don't need to create a macro in the global uh, in the global, global templates and the macro name just let's call it cloud fonts and you come to the macro editor I've already copied my macro so this is very easy. Um, I'll keep it open for a for a couple of seconds, so you can stop and you can type in this macro into your macro editor. This is uh, this is actually let me explain what it does. It starts with the first paragraph here, um, and then it loops on all the fonts and uh, the Office applications. They they download the cloud fonts on first use, so we, we loop over all the fonts that are available, and we insert one um, we insert one paragraph um, at the current position in the document, and then we format this uh, this current paragraph with this uh, with with this font ID that we are looping on and increase paragraph by one and insert one uh, line feed here so it, it jumps to the next paragraph so it, it uh, creates paragraph after paragraph and it just writes the actual font name into these paragraphs here so let's save this not like the, oh um, as the word document yes let's do that save it on the desktop Save the macro, yes, and close. Go back to the macro, cloud fonts, and run this macro. And as you can see, it's it's not doing anything yet. And here it's it's already finished. And for each for each font that we have. It's created one paragraph and formatted the paragraph in the font uh, in the font that it, uh, that it's written here. Uh, now it's slowly downloading these these cloud fonts one after the other. So it's it's not downloaded this um, this Ang Sana UPC yet. Let's search that. Yeah, this one's not yet been downloaded it's still in the process of downloading so it's just a matter of seconds now and as the fonts download um, of course you you see this uh, um, you see how, how these uh, paragraphs are being formatted and um, so it keeps moving up and down here sometimes I think we have it now. Uh, not yet. This is Angsana. Well, it's, it's got almost all of them now. Just a few not not downloaded yet.
Okay. So this one doesn't want to download. Uh, one problem here too. Well, it's downloaded most of them on my other computer. It downloaded everything. I'm not sure why it's not working here now. Maybe some some problem with the uh, downloads on the Microsoft server. Uh, well, anyway, um, I'm sure it will work later on again. Um, I, will, I will just open this document again, and it should be downloading this, uh, these missing fonts too. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you. These fonts, they, they are only available in Office 365 applications. You can't use them in other Microsoft applications or other Windows applications. You can't even use them in other Office applications like Visio 2019. Uh, they're only available in Office 365, but uh, from now on, they will be available offline as well. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.